Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to go through a simple example of a proof by induction. But before we get started, I wanted to make a suggestion. Uh, if you're not already, I would highly encourage you to take notes while you're watching this video. Um, it'd be easy to kind of treat it like you're just watching and being entertained or absorbing information. Um, but I would encourage you to think of it just like you would uh, you know, being in class and taking notes. Um, for a few reasons. Number one, I might write something on the board and then later in the video erase it, and if you have it written down, uh, you can easily refer to it um, later during the video. Um, for another thing, uh, just the act of writing stuff down is a really great way to help you process um, what I'm talking about. And the really nice thing about a video is that you can pause it at any time, right? So pause it. If it takes you a while to write it down, that's okay, because you can pause it and make sure that you've written down on the important ideas make sure that you understand what I just said, try to predict what I'm gonna say next, write down any questions you have, um, try to work out some details for yourself. Um, and doing that is gonna really help you get the most out of these out of these videos. So if you don't already have a notebook uh, that you can take notes in right now, uh, I would encourage you to pause the video right now and go get one. All right, are you ready? So let's get started and do an example of a proof by induction. So let's suppose um, that we were writing down, um, just for fun, adding up some odd numbers. Okay, so if I say uh, just one by itself is one, if I add up the first two odd numbers, I'm gonna get uh, one plus three is four. And if I add up three odd numbers, I'm gonna get one plus three plus five, which is, uh, let's see, one plus three is four, plus five is nine. So this will be 9. If I add up 4 odd numbers, uh, 9 plus 7 is 16. And at this point, do you notice a pattern? Uh, I do. I notice that these numbers are all squares. So this is 1 squared, this is 2 squared, this is 3 squared, this is 4 squared. <clears throat> so noticing a pattern like that isn't a proof. It seems likely that it may, the pattern may continue. Um, we don't know for sure. Um, but this is exactly the kind of thing that if we want to be sure, we can prove it by induction. So we're going to start by making a conjecture. So our conjecture is, right, remember a conjecture is just a fancy mathematical word for a guess. It's something that we think might be true, but we don't know yet. Our conjecture is that the sum of the first n odd numbers uh, equals n squared. And to write that a little more formally, we could say that uh, you know, that is 1 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus, uh, what would be the last one? Let's think. So it's going to be uh, 2n minus 1. So an odd number is always one more or less than an than a even number, right? Um, and we can check that this is doing the right thing. So if n is 1, then this is going to be 2 minus 1, which is 1. That is the first odd number. If n is 2, uh, we're going to get 4 minus 1, which is 3. That's the second odd number. So this is, in fact, 2n minus 1 will be the nth odd number. And so our conjecture is that this is equal to n squared. OK. Um, and so this is going to be our, this is the proposition we're trying to prove. So we're going to say uh, pn is our proposition uh, that, says, that says this, right? And we want to prove. You know, for all natural numbers, that Pn holds. Uh, one thing we should think about, uh, natural numbers include 0. So is this actually true when n is 0? So when n is 0, uh, this says the sum of the first 0 odd numbers should be 0 squared. Uh, and I would say that's true. So if we add up no numbers at all, we get zero. 
So the, the first zero odd numbers, uh, their sum would be zero, and that is indeed zero squared. So this is even true when n is zero. Okay, so let's see how we can formally prove this by induction. So uh, I guess I should stand here. Uh, I've written up here the formal statement of uh, the principle of induction. Right, so we're going to need, this is what we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove for every natural number n, uh, our proposition p is true for n. And in order to do that, right, we have two steps we have to do. We have to prove p0, that's the base case. And then we have to prove that uh, for any k, if p of k is true, then p of k plus 1 is also going to be true. So, let's do it. So, uh, proof by induction say by induction on n to remind ourselves what uh, right what variable it is that we're we're proving uh, it's true for all n so our base case uh, says the sum we have to prove p of 0 which is the sum of the first zero odd numbers uh, is zero squared. All right, we'll just say check. We already argued why that's in fact true. Um, so then our inductive step right, we have to show so we wish to show uh, for all natural numbers k, p of k implies p of k plus 1. And I'm, I'm writing this out very explicitly um, just to help ourselves keep track of what's going on. So remember, how do we prove a, a for all? A for all statement. Now one way of course is we use induction, that's what we're doing. Um, but in this case, just to prove this part, we're not going to use induction again to prove this part. We're just going to say let k be an arbitrary number and then we need to show that no matter what k is, uh, this will be true. Okay, so let k, I'll say let k be an arbitrary natural number. Erase this. So now we have to show uh, this implication, right? That p of k implies p of k plus one. And remember, the way that we prove uh, an if-then statement, an implication, is that we suppose this part, and then we prove this part. Okay. So suppose. Uh, P of k is true, that is uh, 1 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus 2k minus 1 equals k squared. Right, that's what the statement of, that's what p of k says. Uh, it says that the sum of the first k odd numbers is equal to k squared. Okay, then we must show P of k plus 1, that is 1 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus 2 times uh, k plus 1 minus 1 equals k plus 1 squared. Uh, by the way, this, this assumption here this is called the induction hypothesis. So uh, I guess I can write that up here. So this, this is our induction hypothesis. We often abbreviate that as IH. So this is our 
is our IH. Our induction hypothesis. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, how are we going to prove this? Well, at this point, uh, it's just really algebra. So, So here's what we're starting with, right? This is equal to, I'm just going to include one more term from the dot, 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 right? Because the, this is the k plus first odd number. The odd number right before that was the kth odd number. And so, okay, I've just, all I've done, I didn't change this at all. I've just included one more, the previous term from the dot, dot, dot. Okay. Now, our, we were assuming, right, our induction hypothesis says uh, that this, this part here, is equal to k squared. So, this is our, this equals k squared by our induction hypothesis. And in general, proofs by induction, you're often going to, you'll start with something and you're trying to get it into a form where you can use your induction hypothesis, because your induction hypothesis lets you assume something, and you want to be able to use that fact. Okay, so, so this is equal to k squared plus, and we're going to do a little bit of algebra here to simplify this, 2k plus 2 minus 1. All right, so this is equal to k squared plus uh, 2k plus 1. And uh, of course, we can factor this as k plus 1 squared, which is exactly what we wanted to show, right? This is what we were trying to show. Um, so, check. And uh, I don't have room to write it on the board, but we could say at this point, we could say, therefore, by induction, um, you know, pn is true for all n. Or you could say uh, the sum of the first uh, n odd numbers is always equal to n squared.